So my role within HR involves three main areas of activity or focus, I guess. The first is designing and implementing a supply and demand-led planning process for HR, so what we're going to deliver as a function and how we can prioritise and sequence what we deliver to the business. Um, the second area is kind of looking at the performance of the HR function and how we can continuously improve and embed the new HR operating model. And then the third area is kind of governance of HR, specifically for the HR leadership team. From my perspective, I work as resource and specialist, so I come in and look at the attraction talent. So basically from writing JDs that will come through that are not appropriate to be you know, fit for purpose in the external market, to actually interviewing with managers and providing structured interview support, right through to actually delivering that talent. So I try to spend time like out of Windsor and spend time in different parts of the business. Like in the last month I've been to Connected Home in central London. Okay. Um, I went up to Leicester and I went out with a smart engineer for the day, oh, fantastic. which was really fun. Um, and just touching on connected homes, so that's my primary area that I look after and what I class as a studio. Yeah. It gives you a completely different feel from the Windsor environment, so yeah. it's a great um, you know, way to be able to get out into the business. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I think the thing that attracted me most to Centrica was the fact that I could come into to, to a corporate environment, use my expertise um, from a high street agency and actually add value. There are lots of things that I enjoy about working at Centrica. Um, first of all, the um, fact that we are a recognised brand or we have recognised brands in the UK and US under uh, British Gas and Direct Energy. We have an international footprint and we are constantly changing, which means that there's always um, kind of new challenges, new things to get involved in and there's always something to learn. And the other thing that I really enjoy about working here is the people. Not only is everybody kind of really professional and highly skilled and experienced in what they do, but they're also great people on a personal level and friendly and willing to kind of help and have a conversation to get thinking started and kind of work through problem solving together. I'm proud to say that I work for a company that actually continues to strive and continues to grow and actually continues to contribute to the UK today. There are both informal and formal learning opportunities available. Um, personally, I found that the on-the-job development has been what's um, had the most significant impact on me. It's in real life, it's not kind of in a classroom, it's more the day-to-day -day business experience that I find valuable, which I get every day. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, and I think interacting with people, you, you're constantly learning, people are always willing to share. I think the working environment at, at Centrico is very informal, relaxed, and open and friendly. In HR, we always have loads of cakes, that's for sure. <laughs> Excellent yeah. yeah. So Windsor's very much, you know, it's fun. We have, um, you know, a great time, but we all work really hard. If you can step back sometimes and just think, what a great day I've had from a personal level, not just about what you're, what you're actually here to do as a day job, then um, it's rewarding. Yeah.